Afternoon, I'm Mark and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. I'd like to take you for a tour around our 2010 Citroen C4 Picasso seven seater wagon. Start at the front of the car and uh, just a few minor little uh, stone chips on, on the front bonnet that have been touched up previously, but uh, overall Juco in really good condition. Moving around down the right hand side of the car, you, you will notice you have a, a, lot, a lot of glass in this car, it just gives you really easy vision uh, when you're driving and the passengers as well. Coming down the right hand side, you'll notice the Juco in very good order. Couple of very minor blemishes, but for a three year old car in, uh, in really good condition. Factory alloy wheels, you notice hardly a scuff on them and good Michelin tyres as well. Uh, 17 inch alloy from factories. Moving around to the tailgate of the car, you will notice this vehicle has been fitted with reverse sensors. Obviously previous owner quite safety conscious for the family. Also there is the facility there for the tow bar. As we come down the left hand side of the car it does present very similar to the right hand side. Um, overall the Juco on this car in really really good condition. Uh, credit to the previous owners has been really well looked after. We also notice the alloys on the left hand side. If it, if any of the wheels are likely to get a bit of gutter rash, it would be the left hand side, but these are extremely clean, not a mark on them. The other thing to bear in mind as well, with the registration on this car, well over six months to run, June 2014. Moving around under the bonnet of the Picasso now, just a really simple release there, just a flick of a little lever, extremely lightweight bonnet, and we just pop the little yellow lever down just to hold it up in position. Uh, a lot to like about the drivetrain on this car. Um, it's a, a two litre turbo diesel motor, um, returning 7.4 litres per 100 k's. Based on the fact this car has a 60 litre fuel tank, you're going to expect in excess of 800 kilometres to a tank of fuel. Um, that, that's super economy for a car of its size that's a true seven seater for the family. Moving around to the tailgate of the Citroen now, just a really simple push of a button to release our tailgate there. Up she comes, gas struts on either side, takes it right out of our way. I'm six foot one, so you can see the sort of uh, amount of room that you get. Does have the uh, cargo blind, uh, which obviously was ordered when the car was new. You'll notice a uh, small torch on the side there, just in case of emergencies. At the moment, I've got the car set up with two of the middle row seats down, and obviously the third row seats all down. This is just to demonstrate how easy this car is to manoeuvre the seats around when required. Simple matter of just pulling this cover back, which shows us where the third row seats are, and just a simple pull on that lever, the black lever, and your third row seats are in position. Simple matter of just folding that back down there, um, and then basically it's all covered up, ready for the third row seats. Same in the second row seats. We'll move around to the passenger door here. Once again, you've just got your little uh, panel that just folds down when the seat's in the down position to create one big luggage area. So we fold that back up, lock it into place on the back of the seat, and just a simple matter of putting the seat back into position. If our front passenger seat should be a little bit more forward, just making it a little easier. Then you can see the amount of room you have in the second row seats. These are adjustable back and forth as well. So you've got flexibility based on the size of the passengers you've got in that area of the car. We move to the inside of the Citroen now and quite a lot of features to run through. Um, starting on the driver's armrest, we've got all our electric windows and mirrors, just at the touch, uh, the touch of the driver, nice and easy there. Right down on our bottom side here, which I don't know if you can see, you do have the option of turning the reverse sensors off manually, probably in the instance if you did ever hook up a trailer you might actually turn them off so it's not making the audible noise. Up on our right hand side near this vent, the driver has all the controls for the climate control air conditioning. We will show you the, uh, all the vents and controls that are in the second row seats shortly as well. Also with this car being dual zone air conditioning, the passenger can actually set their temperature over on their side of the car to whatever they're comfortable with. With the uh, driver's steering wheel, quite, quite a lot of gadgets here just to run through. It's a leather wrapped steering wheel from factory. We have all of our audio controls on our right hand side of the uh, wheel here. So to control our audio, which if I want to adjust volume, as you can hear there, 
Um, really simple, not removing my eyes from the road. On our left hand side of the steering wheel, couple of the features that we have at our fingertips. We have our Bluetooth here. We also have some fan controls here as well. And then we have our cruiser up the top on the side. Now there are two ways we can drive this car and because it is all based around the steering wheel in the Citroen, we can run through that really simply. This vehicle when parked just stays in neutral and we have an electric park brake which sits up on the dash here. Simple matter of pushing it down to disengage, which it will only disengage when your foot is on the park on the foot brake. And then just a matter of simply pushing it again to engage it. Um, extremely, extremely good the uh, park brake as well. Now on our on our steering wheel, you'll notice up here, apart from reverse and neutral, we have A and M, basically being automatic and manual. So the car can be driven in two ways. We simply flick down to automatic and drive it as just a standard auto, or we can drop it down into the manual mode. Basically what it does in the manual mode, it allows you to change gears, and I'll just turn the steering wheel so you can see them. You have these paddle shifts on your left and right, which basically allows you to change gears manually, obviously with no clutch. It is indicated up in the middle of the dashboard there, where I have the number one up. You see it changed to number two, and it will only allow me to do one and two because we're currently stationary. So just a, another function there, probably on a long trip when you're in hilly areas, a uh, good function to have, which is the, uh, the manual shift. Now that we move to the centre dashboard section, you see a lot of information there up on the screen. It's obviously asking me for a mobile phone at the moment, which is uh, very simple process of connecting a mobile to the Bluetooth. Um, gives you all your other information, such as K's travelled. Um, you've got your compass there as well. Uh, so a lot of information there. You will also notice that there is, a, there is a cover plate over the radio because most of your controls are on the steering wheel. So you can pop that up to change things manually or insert your CD player. You'll notice two other buttons. We have a, a manual button to lock, lock our doors from inside the car. Can also turn the stability control off manually if required as well. When we do have the air conditioning running, you will notice this little compartment here also serves as a little cooler. So if you've got a couple of nice sandwiches and a soft drink, um, you can pop them in there when you're on a long trip with the kids. Now, also whilst we're moving around the interior of the car, uh, one of the main things that, that, that's really important for a people mover and a family is the level of safety. In the Citroen, we have all airbags. We have front, side and curtain airbags, and they run all the way through to the third row seats. This helps this car achieve a five-star ANCAP safety rating. So from a safety point of view, you can't tick the box any more than this car does. You'll also notice, as I mentioned earlier, the amount of glass around this car and how the vision outside for the driver and all the occupants is fantastic. You also have the option up here uh, with the windscreen. If you want to allow yourself even more vision of the road, you have the ability to slide these sun visors all the way back. So quite a fair few options there. And then in, in the instance, if uh, you know it is, is quite sunny, just uh, roll them forward again, flick your visor forward, and brings it back to basically the vision of a normal standard windscreen. You'll also notice as we move down through the console area, a couple of cup holders there, also some auxiliary outlets. Um, we have adjustment for the driver and passenger by the levers here, also the adjustment for the back of the seat. And for those long trips, you'll also notice um, driver and passenger in the front also have their armrests. So you're out on the highway, set your cruise control and you're basically just cruising along in your mobile lounge room. Now just as I mentioned earlier, just with the dual zone air conditioning, you do also have vents back into the second row seats. You'll notice the occupants can also set the controls there. If they find it's getting a little bit too cold or they're not quite cold enough, they have the ability to control it in the rear as well. We also do have a little um, shelves for the kiddies to have some lunch and a drink as well if you're on a long journey. You do have that little strap there if we want to just pop a couple of things into storage as well. So a lot of, lot of things to be excited about with this car. Also notice looking at the floors, we do have the factory carpets in this car as well, which is really important. 
probably one more one more thing to bear in mind noticing on both of our rail two rear doors uh, we do actually have factory uh, blinds that are in place as well this car has at some stage obviously had had a light tint on the car as well so you know overall it's really designed for, for super comfort then we'll just have a quick look at the service books you notice we do have both factory keys very important to have both of them this vehicle bought originally from Citroen and serviced by Citroen its whole life so far. Having only travelled 60,000 kilometres with perfect service history, it's just a car that you have absolutely no grey areas. Everything about it will tick the box. So just to summarise, thanks for watching the video of the 2010 Citroen Picasso. A few things to recap on. Five-star ANCAP safety rating, 7.4 litres combined per 100 kilometres. It will deliver you more than 800 kilometres to a tank of fuel. A uh, lot to like about the car, economy, safety, perfect service history. If you've got any further questions, feel free to give us a call, 9907 555. And thanks again.